Hello everyone, Yazid is here and today I bring you another deck. This deck is really fun. I made this deck actually to do the quest, but after a while the deck show a really good out, uh, outcome in the game and I play 10 games with this deck. I win 9 of them. Most of them was to around rank 15 from rank 18 to 15 I think but let's start and explaining what the goal of this deck so the quest was actually a combo quest and as you see there is a lot of low cost card that can uh, available the combo for you backstab a really solid card journey below and swash burglar these are in a quiz a combo enabler plus these two it almost like it draw you a card you have two device ring leader two executive and one loot hoarder and one novice engineer <clears throat> and one shift one the under uh, two under city valent now all of these are for the early game in order to deal with the all the aggro there is you need to have a solid start and so you can keep using your combo Edwin Van Cleef, two fan of knife for the board clear and the draw plus the combo and questing adventure two questing adventure playing questing adventure first actually make things really easier so when you especially when questing adventure as and Edwin Van Cleef uh, in the same time playing in the same turn guaranteed two huge targets so the enemy most likely is going to be able to clear one and shadow pan rider oh this is this is awesome in this deck the combo like only one time in the 10 game i was not able to uh, play this card with with combo and i won that game but i uh, i all all of the time i preferred to play another card but in all of the other nine game i i played on turn six or five or four by the coin with the combo and let's start and show you the game let's start with our first game <coughs> okay and we are against a paladin I will fight with Hello. honor. Watch your back. I think I will keep this hand. Maybe I should have returned the journey below since I have a swash burglar in the turn one. Hmm. If I have that uh, one mana legendary, the pirate with a charge, maybe I would put it because sometimes you will get. Hmm. It's really nice to get this uh, two mana. Of all my most. Happy feast of winter vale. Happy feast of winter. Accidents. Make it happen, you know? <laughs> I want to use my hero power to clear his board. Maybe I should have played the loot hoarder and just go face. Okay, so I like the new card of the of Gadgetzan. They actually are really fun to play with, especially when uh, what? They, fell off the truck. they are buffing into your hand. So you need to play your deck in a specific way in order to get that value. Like I don't know, I have uh, 
I can use my weapon and trade a 1 1 in order to kill his monster. Or using my questing adventure with journey below. Hmm. Or using my uh, loot hoarder and two mana spell to clear. Like, I think questing adventure sound fine. And journey below. Maybe even going all face. Give me a quest. Because. Uh, like, I feel like uh, Paladin tend to not playing a tango? Consecration lately. Ah, a tango. I don't know, maybe because uh, people stop swarming the field with zoo and stuff. And they are relying on stuff like uh, equality. Hmm, a four eight. Hmm. I don't know what should I play next turn. Should I play the shadow pen without a hero core? Oh, okay. Okay, let's remove both the minion with uh, the protection plate. I really think protection plate is uh, good in the current meta because the ability of dealing with two minion at the same time, especially in the early game, is really huge. And you can choose that to damage. Consider it as uh, uh, a say seventh agent. Hmm. I think I will attack with the loot order first in order to get the uh, card and see what I will get. Device. Here we go. I will put the open and summon device. For attack. It's for damage, so it's written as the same as the pan rider. He's really buffing the card in his hand a lot. Ouch. It's really bad. At least we can clear the wild pyromancer with our weapon. And I will attack the device with the 1 2 and then play my under city variant and the Pandora either. That was my favorite. Yes. Give me the whole boss. Dwarf Prism with 7 8 on the board. Accidents! They happen, you know? I think the card on the left take like five off. The rules. Really huge. Reporting for duty. And I am getting really low. Hmm. A shadow strike. Yeah, I will kill the other one. And face. Here we go. With um kill it with the spell. I don't want to take the damage and I want a board present and my three two will he will trade the two one one with it anyway. 
if he don't have a heal, he's in a really bad spot. But I really think the minions in the left are really powerful. Oh my god. This is really bad. Careful. I can, if I attack, I can trigger Careful. both the combo because I got a coin, and I don't think it will be any useful anymore. So I will kill the top. That's a lot. Just waste it. Nine nine, <laughs> and he will heal. Let the pain speak to me. That is a GG. Hey, lights out. See, so he have uh, thirteen damage. Now, most likely, he uh, the four mana card actually give him damage, but this is the only way I have a chance of winning. I go face. Okay, he have true silver champion and silver moon portal. Okay, this is this is was the first time I lose in this game, in this deck. I mean. After uh, eight win, I think. Okay, let's play one more game. Valera versus Okay, Valera. I guess it's Valera. Watch your back. I always do. <laughs> I will return the kidnapper. The curve of the deck is uh, kind of low, that's why I kept the Tomb Pillager. At worst I can coin it in turn 3 and I will get my coin back. If I did not have any combo to trigger at that time. Okay, very good. I will uh, play questing adventure on coin journey below because I can follow it with two pillars uh, and that will give it uh, a two two. Okay, I will take Aya. Uh, I don't have any Jade Golem in this deck, but uh, I uh, even without Jade Golem is an okay card because first it's, it's a death rattle that will summon a 2-2 two -two for me and uh, I have a chance of getting another uh, Jade Golem from the card I have which is called Journey Below, the, another copy of Journey Below. I can play Tomb Pillager or I can uh, backstab and kill them with a prediction plate. But uh, I want to play the Tomb Pillager because next turn I can backstab, play Under City Valiant, and then assign 70 Agent in the same turn, figuring them both, co both the combo. And that will provide me a better board. With clearing the board, yes. Okay, he play. Okay, let's kill the SI 70 agent with the backstab and under body, and then kill uh, the. Uh, with my SI 70 agent, kill the 2 2. Yeah. 
I could use the prediction plate, but I really rather to keep it in my hand because uh, maybe that I will need this uh, to damage that will give me a better body. I will play Aya. I think he will trade, maybe. No, yeah, most likely he will trade. And maybe that will force him into using his uh, hero power and killing my 1 1, which will leave, leave him only with 5 mana. Next turn, I can play the Tinkerer with Prediction Blade. If he did not play, I can trade Aya into the Azure. Drake. Don't know should I use prediction plate, but I will take four damage or using the two mana. Here we go. You got now. This is give me the best board I have with the weakest board he has and give that keep that damage in my hand in case I need any and next turn I can use the other prediction bleed if I want to I got the best but if I keep the two prediction blade they will keep it like stuck oh my god okay let's see how many cards he draw okay, cool. oh, and swash pull girl. preparation okay. three cards Anger, four card. Five, that's step. Oh my god, this is... Six, oh my god, preparation. Seven, seven, eight. Nice, four. Just do a nice cut. Yeah. Oh my God! He have he have eight cards in his hand. All all the cards in his hand are a new card. No. Okay, we need to kill that four four for uh, eight four for sure. Hmm. Let's uh, first journey below and see what we get. Oh, another Aya. We, I will take that. This is so good right now. Who needs you, Golem, when you have Journey, bro? Since this card uh, curve is really low, most of the time you pick a high cost card with the journey below in order to cover that. But if you are against aggro, you don't do that, you pick like a really cheap card or turn. Oh, it's crack. <laughs> Well, let's draw and see what we get. Coming if you want. Now I kept the snake bite because I want to trigger the prediction plate. If I get another combo card, it allow me to trigger it. And I trade the two one because I, yeah, I was going to get some kind of knife. You want to buy a funnel cake? 
The Brotherhood shall come back. Okay. Okay, snake bite and Divides and Glazer. I think I will hit with the prediction play the 6-6 six six and attack it with Aya and then uh, with my face kill the minion 2-2 two, two minion which uh, allowed me to hit him in the face and I will take the lowest damage possible like this so he has to have 10 damage which is not likely Yeah, you need seven more. Come on, come on. You need three more damage. He play to both preparations, so he don't have any preparation. Hit crack. We win. We win. He have nothing. Oh my god. That was the deck. I hope you like it. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video.